Next thing what we want to do is we now want to make another short piece but the difference between this short piece and the other short piece is that this one is planed. Okay, so it has to be planed along the top to allow the lid to go in and out. So create documents. I'm just going to put in planed short piece of pencil case. Okay. Plain short piece of pencil case. Press OK. So we're going to go through the exact same process again, okay, as the last one uh, for our short piece. Uh, we're going to use the right plane, okay, and we'll go through that now. So we're going to hide our top plane, left click, hide our front plane, left click, and uh, look directly at the right plane. Go to my viewing cube, and just left click, okay, and we're going to start from the origin, which is here, okay. Always start from your origin. Sketch, uh, we're just going to left click on the right plane and we're going to go to corner rectangle, which is up in the top here. And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to start the origin. Left click and then left click. Okay, just press escape. I've got another rectangle on the end of that. I double left click there, uh, so just press escape and that's gone. So we're going to go to dimension, so left click left click, left click. That is 70. And this is 60. So left click, left click, 60. So um, we want to go to extrude. So we'll go to our extrude here. And we now want to go to 10 millimeters. So this is 10. We then press correct. Okay, that's what we've got. So again, just click on that plane, and I'm going to drag it out like that, just to make it a bit bigger. Okay, and press F for my keypad, and that's it fitted in nicely. Press right, look directly at it. So we'll now start to, okay, remove material, okay, similar to our last short piece. So a sketch, click on the face, which is left click, corner rectangle, left click, left click okay so again use that broken line to position your rectangle left click and you can see how far you're going up you can see the blue numbers on your on your box and the height of it so that's 21 bring it down to 20 as best we can and there we go so we'll do the exact same on the other side start up the top come down and that's 20 by 10. Start here, left click and left click again. So just come in 10 there. Okay. So we can now go to smart dimension and we can dimension our pieces. They are pretty close to what we want. Um, not pretty close, they're probably exactly what we want. So that's 20. So just left click, left click, and it's 20.28261. So we'll just keep it 20. Left click out here, and we will now dimension this distance from here to here. That's to be 10. Okay, so you can see these are after updating automatically because I'm after using okay my broken orange line okay to match them up okay um, at the start. So left click, left click, and left click. That's 10. When it's 0, 8, just go 10 and 10 here. Okay, oops, there we go. So I'm just going to bring my dimensioning, okay, down. Your dimension should never be on top of the drawing, okay? Um, try always refrain from doing that, okay? So we're going to put our 10 here, 10 here. We'll keep it matching on the other side. So that's 10. Uh, we'll have that in line, and we'll have that in line. Okay, so that looks an awful lot clearer, all right? So now what we're going to do here, okay, is we are now going to try and extrude that. Okay, so I'm just revolving it there just to see what it looks like myself. Okay, I'm going to press right again. Okay, so extrude and remove. Okay, revolve it. 
looks pretty good let's press correct okay so now what we want to do is we now want to create our um, our groove okay uh, to facilitate our lid on our base so we're going to go to sketch we're going to pick a plane not a plane apologies a face so left click and now what we're going to do is we're now just going to click on back which should be okay uh, looking directly at that we can also click on normal too which should be if I right click I'll just go with back there's another way of putting normal too we'll learn that soon enough so I'm gonna go to corner rectangle I've got my plane picked I'm gonna draw one at the bottom first Okay, like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from here down to here. Okay, I'm going to zoom in there now and show you that. So I'm after taking a big chunk off that as you can see. All right. So I'll explain that now in a minute. So I'm going to press correct. Um, oh, I got out of my sketch there. So I need to get back into that sketch. So just double left click. On your design tree and we're back in so smart to mention here we know this from the last lesson and uh, our last tutorial so left click and left click and then left click we have five five and enter a distance from here to here left click and left click and then left click we have three and enter this distance from here to here uh, should be distance of five and that is five mil and we'll press enter okay so if that ever happens or if that ever appears what's after happening here is when I was drawing this um, rectangle this rectangle actually lined up okay with the midpoint okay which is the center okay of this piece of wood and if you start saying to know that I wanted to, to mention this line the computer will simply kick up a fuss so when it goes red, it means that, okay, someone is not happy and that is the computer. So I'm simply just going to delete that measurement. So I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to press backspace and it's gone. So I probably should have known myself, okay, but I wanted to highlight that. If you even look at it, it's defined. It's already, you know, black. So I would only label it if this was what color? Blue, exactly, because it is undefined. But just looking at it, it's black, which means that it is lined up at the center. Okay, so if we look at this slot, okay, at the bottom of this groove, okay, the exact same has to happen on top. Okay, we have to come down, okay, um, a distance from the top here. The distance required for the lid to pass in and out freely, okay. So if you look at this, just at the bottom, we know we came up five and then three, so add the two of them, that's eight. We do the exact same from the top. We should come down five and then three if we if if, if we didn't want the the lid closing in and out but i wanted opening I wanted closing in and out so that means we're going to have to take the eight completely out now it might take out a tiny bit more i might say 8.5 and that 0.5 the clearance should be sufficient uh, amount to allow the lid not to maybe jam or catch when it's passing in and out. Okay. So that's why we're going to pick 8.5. So I'm simply just going to click on the line. I could go line and line. But I'm just going to click here. Line and out. So 8.5. 8.5. And press enter. Okay. It's going to go to 9. Okay. So I'm just going to try that again. I'm going to click on the number and I'm going to press backspace, click on the number, press backspace, okay? Um, I'm going to go to my scissors and I'm going to just left click, okay, left click, left click, and left click. Okay, I think it's after snapping onto that point. I think that's why, okay, it, um, what is that point? I'm just going to press to the left. Oh, it's the halfway. Okay, so it's the halfway uh, mark of that. So that's why I couldn't have mentioned it because actually it was snapped onto that halfway point. The same with this one. Anyway, very quickly, we're going to go back into our center rectangle, sorry, our corner rectangle, 
left click and I'm not going to hit on that just go to about here that's already eight so I'm just going to go seven okay it's blue which means it's undefined go up to our dimension and we're simply going to click here and then click here and then click here so we're going to go 8.5 again this time fingers crossed yay okay it's rounding off to nine that's okay um so we're now going to go to okay an extrude cut and we're going to cut the two of those simultaneously okay so extrude and we're going to, go to remove it's going into 25 so let's go okay up to maybe 80 and that's 80 there that looks good press correct okay last thing that we need is our appearance so very simply right click on the object edit appearance for part one and we always picked okay this top one here that's quite a nice one too but i'm going to go with this one press correct okay and that is our piece complete i'm going to hide the right plane i'm going to look at an isometric view of this which is this little top corner on my cube and that looks lovely okay that's my origin can I hide that? I can. There we go. Thank you for looking at this lesson. Okay, I hope you've learned okay a lot okay by doing this. There's some little aspects that we have uh, touched on that we never really touched on in the other videos, but uh, all in all, uh, we're one step closer to assembling okay our pencil case. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.